topic of today's deliberation is on definition and scope of physical anthropology. What is man? Had he been created one fine morning? Or is he the product of evolution? Man is a social being as such as a biological one. Over all these years, human society have undergone considerable change in various aspects of their physical, cultural, and socio-economic condition. People do differ in their skin color, eye color and shape, height, hair color, texture, etc. How is it that the people from very cool climatic region are observed to be very fair in complexion, while people from the tropical region are black? What would be the skin color of a child if one of the parents belonged to the Negroid race while the other is from Caucasoid or Mongoloid race? Racism is the discrimination based on body traits, light, skin color, blood, etc. No scientist can tell your race from a drop of your blood. Is it the quality depends upon the marriage pattern, inbreeding or outbreeding? practiced by the society. How can inbreeding be measured? How can the risks of having with anomalies be predicted? The genetic disorders at family and population level can be detected by various techniques. Now, one can also compare and comprehend genetic diversity in population with reference to normal and abnormal trait variation. Physical growth and development is a natural and continuous process. Food nutrition and exercise have their effect on it. How are the children suffering from malnutrition to be detected? Is there an ideal growth standard for the Indian children? What are the temporal and secular changes observed in growth pattern? What are the methods and techniques available to study and assess? The growth rates. Is there an A specific growth? Such a list of questions could be extended stretching to any number of area and disciplines as far as they are related to man. The attempt to put together all those jigsaw puzzles of man as a biological being in his past, present, and the future is done in the branch of anthropology which is called as physical anthropology. Contemporary, the term physical anthropology and biological anthropology are synonymous. Definition of physical anthropology. The emergence of anthropology as a branch of science goes back to the remote past. Credit goes to Aristotle for coining the term anthropology. The development of physical anthropology as an organized and systematic discipline started in the second half of the 19th century. Johann Friedrich Blumenberg, a German physician, is considered to be the father of physical anthropology. Physical anthropology is the oldest branch of anthropology which was established much earlier than the other branches. It is the study of man as a living organism. The important aspects that study in this branch are human biology, human variation, and human evolution. Paul Broca defined physical anthropology as the science whose objective is the study of humanity considered as a whole in its parts and in relation to rays of nature. John Comas defined physical anthropology as a biological science deals with the origin, development and varieties of man as a member of the animal kingdom. It is concerned with the biological basis of man's ability to use culture. The evolution of this ability, its present development and its futures. The study of physical anthropology in the early period was characterized by anthropometric studies, 
calculation of indices, and computation of statistics. The purpose of all or early period studies was primarily classification and correlation by which it was thought that the description and differences was enough for solving the problem. As such, there was no place for theory because it was realized that the facts speak for themselves. The interpretation of the results remained mere speculation. The anthropologists of old period were only satisfied with the reporting of variation, such as in the size and shape of broad ridges, form of the nose, growth in the premaxillary suture, evolution of lower jaw, genetic structure of population, etc., as fake by observation and measurement. Measurement and never gone into the causative factors. A new chapter in the studies of physical anthropology was opened in the year 1900 as at this time Mendel's law of inheritance was discovered. In course of time, the study of physical anthropology has become more specialized with the newer invention and discoveries. The angle of vision of the scholar is being changed considerably. This new achievement in physical anthropology is the result of the direct course of complete reorientation in some of the field of study. Anthropologists of later or new period are mainly interested in understanding the processes and mechanisms involved in the problem. Here, the theory is critical and the major objective is to develop consistent hypotheses which should be verified experimentally. Therefore, the interpretation involves the task of testing the hypothesis and its validity. So, the new period of physical anthropology begins where the old periods end. The aims and interests of both the traditions are though the same, the emphasis of new period is reoriented in methodology and comprehension and interpretation. The new period anthropologists have started investigation into a number of new areas to understand genetic relationship and to trace possible ancestors. It also study the dynamic of diversity of mankind includes biochemical human genetics covering hemoglobin, haptoglobin, transferrin, Analysis of evolutionary factors such as mutation, natural selection, genetic drift, and gene flow, and primate biology involving the studies of blood group, genetic and local evolutionary factors of non human primate such as monkey and apes. The large numbers of dimensions of academic research and applied importance of physical anthropology have developed into a number of specialized fields. Mention may be made of human population genetics, genetic demography or demogenetics, human evolution, paleoanthropology, human growth and development, human biochemical genetics, forensic anthropology, human cytogenetics, ecology or environmental anthropology, anthropometry, nutritional anthropology, dermatographics, physiological anthropology, primatology, medical anthropology, cananthropology, genetic engineering, twin study, molecular anthropology, neuroanthropology, human oxology, etc. Physical anthropologists are interested in studying primate, the close relatives of man from different angles for different reasons. It is studied in relation to geological and temporal sequences, comparative anatomy, behavior both in natural and laboratory and fossil remains 
so as to understand the evolutionary stages and certain fundamental aspects on man. The study of fossils remains give the evidence of the gradual development of man from his non-human ancestors. The study of fossil evidence of Dryopithecus, Ramapithecus, Australopithecus, Homo erectus and other hominid fossils is used in tracing the evolution of mankind. By the method of the reconstruction, the physical appearance and rudimentary cultural features ancestors of human are derived. The study of transmission from every pre-hominid to a hominid stage is characterized by a change to a fully erect posture, bipedalism, teeth structure and jaw structure, societal crest, relatively height and brain size of the species, opposable thumb and the prolongation of immaturity. The ancestors of modern man, Homo sapiens, has existed for approximately the past 50,000 years. The anatomical and morphological changes that have occurred over the past millions of years have produced these species of mankind. Physical anthropology used the general principle of biology and utilize the finding of anatomy, physiology, embryology, geology, and so on. It studies the origin and evolution of man, man's physical character, and form of diversity. The theories of Lamarckism, Darwinism, and modern synthesis, which are derived from the biological form, are useful in explaining the evolutionary process of man. It also analyzes the biosocial adaptation of different human population living in different geographical and ecological zones. The effect of adaptation to high altitudes, heat and cold stress, tolerance on different geographical population will help in finding out the ways and means of combating the biochemical and physiological changes in the human body. The general laws and principles apply to the study of human genetics as a field of physical anthropology are derived from the studies of plants and animals. It helps in understanding the processes of replication and variation among human population. It also helps in analyzing the matter of inheritance of diseases, normal and abnormal characteristics to know the cause of human variation, individual and racial. The studies of human races involve the consideration of the present day frequencies of human physical characteristics as well as the probable mechanisms like mutation, gene recombination, chromosomal alteration, selection, genetic drift, hybridization, isolation, etc., which brought about by specific adaptation to the natural environment in the parts of the world they live. On the basis of the differences in phenotypic and genotypic characters such as serology, dermatographic anthropometry, etc. Classification of the human population is made into races, ethnic groups, Mendelian populations or endogamous groups. It tries to erase the MIMP regarding the concept of racism. The concept of pure and impure, inferior or superior race and attempt to establish the principle of classification. One of the best classification of human population is derived from the knowledge of human genetics. Another train is the study of blood group. The blood groups were discovered in the course of experiment on cross reaction between the bloods of different individuals. The main medical significance 
has to this day remained connected to blood transfusion. For anthropologists, the blood group is considered as an ideal indicator of historical connection between human groups. It facilitates the studies of genetic composition and origin of the population lived thousands of years ago as their proportion remains stable from generation to generation. Not only to this, it also utilizes in genetic counseling to partners entering into marriage to know their blood groups and their compatibilities and incompatibilities. It also used in medical legal cases of paternity dispute and to persons belonging to different blood groups who are prone to different diseases such as A group person to lungs diseases, B to rheumatic fever, O to duodenal and peptic ulcer, and AB to leprosy, etc. To take precaution with necessary regards to diet and infection. In modern clinical genetics, the analysis of multifactorial genetic system is of increasing importance. A striking investigation on blood group is support the hypothesis that individuals with blood group O are altogether a little more fit than those with blood group A. The person with blood group O have a longer expectation of life. Anthropometry, the science of measurement of the human body, has traditionally been concerned with studies of human evolution and the formation and differentiation of race of mankind. Great emphasis has been given by the anthropologists to standardize the various measurements on the living and also on the skeleton. Selden's somatotype system may be regarded as an important advancement in this regard. Now, anthropometry is used in designing equipment and workspace so as to increase the safety and efficiency of job performance, thereby reducing accident. Anthropometry is now extensively used and utilized as an index of nutritional status. It plays the most important role in the nutritional assessment of an individual regardless of age and sex. In recent years, anthropometry is being harnessed in sports and games. The Olympic athletes are studied scientifically from the point of view of family status, genetic features and anthropometric characters. Thus, physical anthropology deals with primate, development of human species, biocultural studies of human diversity, the hominid fossils evidence, comparative anatomy, human ecology, growth and nutrition, biochemical variation, human genetics and many more which help to reconstruct a complete picture of man as a biological being. Physical anthropology is also deeply concerned about the influence of culture and environment. Cultural factors like mating, interbreeding, or breathing, modification of body, migration, social isolation, and many more influence the biology of mankind. One of the most important challenging tasks of the physical anthropology is the task of explaining the complexity between biological and cultural factors.